Hey friends, let's talk about processed foods and how it is dangerous to us. Processed foods such as ready meals, baked goods, and processed meats can have negative health effects. Consuming highly or heavily processed foods can lead to weight gain, increase the risk of type 2 diabetes, and more. Most food needs some degree of processing, and not all processed foods are bad for the body. However, chemically processed foods, also called ultra-processed foods, tend to be high in sugar, artificial ingredients, refined carbohydrates, and trans fats. Because of this, they are a major contributor to obesity and illness around the world. In recent decades, ultra-processed food intake has increased dramatically worldwide. These foods now account for 25 to 60 percent trusted source of a person's daily energy intake throughout much of the world. This video looks at how processed foods can affect a person's health and what to avoid. When it comes to what we eat, you can put foods into processed and unprocessed categories. For example, an apple straight from the tree is unprocessed until it's chopped up, put in a pie, baked, and processed. But does processed always mean bad, or are some processed foods good for us? Let us look at some facts on processed food and share nine of the worst processed foods alongside their healthy alternatives. If something has been processed, that means that it has been put through a special process or treatment to change it. What is processed food? Although microwave meals, shaped and breaded meat, and ready meals may spring to mind when you think of processed foods, they're not the only foods that are classed as processed. Simple food processing includes canning, drying, baking, freezing. So those cupcakes you made the other day, hate to break it to you, but they're processed. That can of sweet corn you tipped into your pasta bake, also processed. As you can see, some processed foods seem much healthier than others, but a lot of them tend to contain high levels of fat, sugar, and salt. Other common processed foods include cheese, breakfast cereals, bread, tinned fruits and vegetables, meat products like bacon, ham, sausage, salami, and pate, savory snack items like pies, pasties, sausage rolls, and crisps, ready meals, microwave meals, biscuits and cakes, drinks that aren't water like milk, squash, fizzy drinks, wine, and beer. As you can see from the lists, not all processed foods are a bad choice. For example, some foods like milk need to be processed to make it safe, which is why it gets pasteurized to remove any harmful bacteria. In the same way, some fruits and vegetables have to go through a little processing so they can be canned and remain fresher for longer. And your favorite olive oil and rapeseed oil came from little seeds that needed to be processed, so you can roast and fry with them. There are a few main reasons why some processed foods get a bad rep. Fat, salt, sugar. These ingredients are sometimes added to the most popular processed foods to extend their shelf life, make their flavor more appealing, or sometimes to help the food be made in the first place, like sugar in cakes and salt in bread. Unlike cooking meals from scratch, when you know roughly how much sugar, fat, and salt you have added when you eat processed foods and meals, you don't always know what you're eating. Processed foods, especially microwave meals, can cause people to eat more than the recommended daily allowances of salt, sugar, and fat without realizing it. They can also come with a surprisingly high calorie count due to all the added ingredients. So if you're not looking out for it, you may be unintentionally eating excess calories. Here are some common examples of processed foods you should be wary of and the less processed alternatives you can swap them for. Number six, instant noodles. The classic student staple and quick meal solution for busy people everywhere. Instant noodles are very popular, but it doesn't mean they're good for you. They are highly processed, very carb heavy, have astronomical levels of salt and sodium, and offer little to no nutrition. A study on noodle consumption in college students in Seoul found that frequent consumption of instant noodles increased the risk of obesity, high cholesterol, insulin resistance, and other cardiometabolic risks in otherwise healthy young adults. 
Who knew such a small package could pack such a huge health risk? What to eat instead? Try swapping for healthy zoodles, aka noodles, made out of courgette. The Z comes from the American name for courgettes. Zucchini. Or see if you can find some whole wheat noodles you can flavor yourself. Number 5. Microwave and ready-made popcorn. Love a bowl of freshly popped bowl of popcorn for movie night? We don't blame you. It's never quite the same without it. Popcorn is naturally pretty healthy too. However, when you opt for microwave or ready-made popcorn, you're often also opting for lots of added salt and fat because of all the preservatives and flavorings that manufacturers add to it. What to eat instead. Make your popcorn. All you need to do is get yourself some popcorn kernels, some oil to coat the pan, you're going to be popping them in, and a little of your favorite flavoring to make it taste amazing. We like popping corn in coconut oil and drizzling it with maple syrup. Mmm. Number four, frozen and microwave ready meals. Yeah, frozen and microwavable meals are quick, convenient, and normally taste at least okay. But the thing with ready meals is that they are often loaded with excess fat, sugar, and sodium. That's not to say that all ready meals are bad for you. There are some companies out there who are trying to make their ready meals much lower in calories, fat, salt, and sugar. But they still tend to be very low in other important nutrients. One UK study found that out of 100 supermarket ready meals, not even one fully complied with World Health Organization nutritional guidelines. Pretty shocking, no? What to eat instead? If you still crave the ease and convenience of ready meals, but want to enjoy nutritious food, then batch cooking and freezing could be the solution. Try making healthy meals full of fresh fruit and veg that you can pop in a container and freeze for days when you just don't have the time. You can also do this with leftovers. Number three, flavored and coated nuts. Nuts are good for you, right? Right, they usually are. But those honey roasted cashews you like or the crunchy, spicy, coated peanuts you get out for parties, not so much. These flavored nuts are jammed full of extra sugar and salt, which can certainly help you pack on the pounds and eventually take a toll on your heart health if you consume more than a handful regularly. What to eat instead? Real nuts. Toast them, roast them, or eat them raw. When you're in control of the ingredients, they're much less likely to have as much added salt, sugar, and fat. Natural nuts contain plenty of protein and good fats, so don't avoid them completely. Just the flavored nuts shelf. Number two, cereal bars and granola bars. Cereal bars may look all innocent with their good for you grains, healthy marketing images, and claims that they will set you up for the day. But have you ever looked at the back of the packaging? A lot of popular granola bars are full of added sugars that your body digests quickly, so they hardly keep you feeling full. They're mostly made up of simple carbohydrates, not the good complex carbs we like, and often have long ingredient lists, which is a massive indicator of overly processed foods. Some research by the UK Consumer Advocacy Group, which, on 30 of the best-selling cereal bars, revealed that the fat and sugar content they contain often rival normal biscuits and fizzy drinks like Coke. They said that some of the products can be misleading and should not be marketed as health foods, which they so often are. What to eat instead? Now we're not saying that all cereal bars are bad, it's just a lot of them are. However, with a glance at the back of packets, you should be able to decipher which ones are a healthy snack and which are not. Some healthy snack cereal bars include Aduna Superfood Energy Bars have an impressively small ingredient list and still contain the natural energy, mainly from dates and cashews, to get you through the day. In addition, these bars are made primarily from dates too, with a very small ingredient list and no added sugar. They come in so many delicious flavors like blueberry muffin and chocolate orange, so you're bound to find one or more that you like. Still fancy some Odilicious snacks? You can also make your own with some oats, seeds, dried fruit, granola, dates, etc. So, then you know exactly what's going into your mid-morning snack. 
Number one is hot dogs, sausages, bacon, and other processed meats. What meat is processed? All meat and fish products are processed, really, unless you're chewing on an animal carcass. But often when we are talking about processed meat, we usually mean something different. This label is often reserved for meat that has been preserved through salting, cutting, drying, or canning to enhance the flavor and preserve it. Common processed meat examples include sausages, bacon, hot dogs, salami, beef jerky, corned beef, canned meat, meat-based sauces. Why is processed meat bad for you? Let's take bacon as an example, which contains very high levels of sodium and saturated fat as standard. Too much sodium can lead to problems like high blood pressure, and saturated fat has links to obesity and heart disease. So it may be worth thinking about that before piling your breakfast plate high with bacon and sausages. The preservatives commonly used in processed meats are also a worry and have been linked to a variety of health concerns spanning from headaches to cardiovascular conditions like heart disease. The World Health Organization, WHO, classifies bacon and other processed meat as group carcinogens due to the nitrates, preservative, that turns the meat red-pink they contain. This puts them in the same category as tobacco and asbestos, which should indicate how healthy they consider them to be. In the UK, it is advised that you eat no more than 70 hours a day of processed meat due to its saturated fat content. This equates to a couple of slices of bacon. What to eat instead? If you're looking for something less processed on your plate, for breakfast, try swapping bacon for healthier options like avocado with a rich and delicious flavor like bacon, avocado can easily replace bacon in your sarni, eggs, although eggs also contain saturated fat, they are not on the same level as bacon. So go, more eggs, less bacon. Carrot bacon. Yes, you can make bacon from carrots. All you need is some natural seasonings like tahini, soy sauce, garlic powder, liquid smoke, black pepper, and paprika. Marinate thin strips of sliced carrot with the seasonings and olive oil overnight and oven bake those carrots into fake bacon perfection. It's a great and much less processed option. Food is more than fuel and filler. It's a relationship. So, the next time you head to the grocery store, remember that not all processed foods are necessarily bad for you. Focus on consuming more fruits and vegetables, whether fresh, frozen, or canned. Read labels and add foods to your shopping cart that have ingredient lists of things you recognize. Limit items that are high in added sugar and sodium. The American Heart Association Trusted Source recommends that men consume no more than about 9 teaspoons of added sugar, or 36 grams, per day, and women aim for no more than 6 teaspoons, or 25 grams, per day. And ultra-processed foods? When you already know they're not the best for you, it's going to be about quantity, not quality, and comfort over health. The best step is to do a check-in with your mind and gut before putting something in your stomach.